Coming up next, celebration in Dodger Town tonight. It was a must win, and that's just what they did. This is a great team. It's a dream team. A third of the charges in the McMartin molestation case are dropped. And dramatic home video of a fatal accident is shown in court. She was there hit by the car. Hello, everyone. I'm Tom Lawrence. And I'm Wendy Gordon. Stay with us. The 9 o'clock news is coming up next. You know, you never know how the first day game plan is going to turn out. The first thing to do is grab her and start kissing her. You know? On Love Connection. Weeknights at 7. <laughs> Wendy Gordon. Tom Lawrence. Scott St. James. Andrew Amador, Sandy Newton, L.A.'s primetime news, the 9 o'clock news. Hello, everybody. It was do or die, and the Dodgers did it tonight. Absolutely. They're going to be in the World Series for the first time since 1981. Scott St. James is here to tell us about it. Oh, right. Heart Attack Series. First of all, we're going to be joined immediately by Fred Clare, the architect of this team. Uh, Fred, congratulations. Thank you very much, Scott. I wish you were here. You would look good in champagne. <laughs> For, Fred, can, do you have a monitor there? Can you see us? Yes. All right. What are these? Wait, I can't see that well, Scott. I, I, I really can't. Trust me, they're World Series tickets. <laughs> well, when, when, when the season started, uh, you, you had a lot of things that you wanted to do, but was the World Series honestly and truly in the back of your mind? Well, Scott, whether it's believed or not, it was. And certainly winning was in my mind, and winning was in the mind of this ball club. I don't think that you can be a part of a ball club and put in the time and the effort that our organization has put in from top to bottom and not believe that you can accomplish a goal. So, yes, we, we believed, and uh, maybe we believed against great odds, but I don't think that you can be here today unless you've believed that you can be here today. Fred, I don't know if you saw what I saw in the ninth inning, and unfortunately I'm not able to show it right now, but right after Jose Gonzalez caught a ball up against the fence, it was obvious that Oral Hershiser was having to kill himself to keep from smiling or crying or something. Did you see that? Well, I, uh, I noticed it. I noticed a lot of emotional things that took place in tonight's ball game because it's a very emotional ball club. It's a, it's a group of people who had to come together to prove a lot of things. Uh, there was a lot of emotion, a lot of believing, a lot of heart in this ball club. Fred, thank you very much. Congratulations. We'll see you Friday. Okay, Scott. Yeah. The, the World Series starts Saturday. Oh, yeah. And we'll have tickets to give away. So stand by. so great. Congrats. We'll be back later. You know, the uh, saying, it's all over, but the shouting. Well, it is true. The game is over, but not the shouting all over our big city. Channel Lions' Linda Edwards, can you hear us? You're at Tommy Lasorda's restaurant in Marina Del Rey. Tom, Lasorda's is the place to be tonight, and so many enthusiastic Dodgers fans couldn't be happier tonight. Oddly, though, a lot of them have already gone home. I guess they just yelled for too many hours and uh, had to go home and rest their voices. Anyway, there are still some hanging on. And I want to get the feel for what they're thinking and feeling tonight. Can you tell me what did you think as you watched the game tonight? I'll tell you what.